everyone I am Mudassir Ali and today I'm gonna guide you through the steps of how to add new domain in existing Google Apps account so without much error let's, let's get started so it is quite obvious that you should have Google App account in order to creating uh, in order to be creating a new domain so uh, sign in with your Google Apps account on the URL admin.google.com after you go to this URL please enter your username and password in order to sign in when you sign in you will be redirect, redirected to admin console page now as I have already logged in with my account uh, I have been redirected to admin console page this is how the admin console page looks here uh, many options are provided like management of devices apps billing profiles etc now your job now is to locate the option domains if it is available here well and good otherwise you can find more controls at the bottom click on more controls and find domains after you click on domains you will be redirected to the domain settings page and uh, there the existing domains their status and other details are available you can activate deactivate or remove any domain now you have uh, when you have to add a new domain alias click on add a new domain alias and you are provided with a text area to enter a domain alias name for example, uh, I am I am giving giving my domain alias name as Ali. Dot example. Dot com. After entering my domain alias name, I have to verify it with Google. Now to verify it, click on Continue and verify domain ownership. This is done because Google wants to verify whether this uh, website is owned by us or not. So uh, this can be done by two methods, as you can see here recommended method and alternate method so recommended method is uh, usually for those people who use a domain name processor for hosting their websites uh, for example if you have used any domain name provider there are many providers uh, given in the drop down list here for example if you have used blue bluehost select bluehost.com and Bluehost uh, in order to verify with Bluehost there is only one step click on verify and there will be uh, a pop-up and in this pop-up you have to enter your username and password just login details and uh, when you enter login details that means that you are the owner of that website and that domain so Google will verify it if it's not Bluehost for example if you select uh, codaddy.com godaddy has a uh, few steps to verify follow these steps to verify you are the owner of the website or not so this uh, every domain name provider have their own steps to verify and uh, if you have any domain name provider from this from these select and follow the steps if not if you are a developer and you have access to the uh, programming that is backend of your website you can follow alternate methods alternate methods is provided for the owners uh, or probably the developers or the people who have direct access uh, there are three methods first click on HTML tag this is probably the simplest all you have to do is uh, you should go in the head section and before the first body section just copy and paste this tag that's it that is that means the changes will be made in the website and Google will uh, verify that you are the owner of website now after you click on verify uh, that will take uh, some time and your uh, domain uh, ownership domain ownership gets verified so as I have already verified with some other domain I will show you with that domain now as you can see now in my admin console in my domain area uh, le dot example have been added but it's not been uh, you know verified yet but you can observe here venue join dot com this domain I have uh, verified and this is uh, declared as domain alias for hostchef dot com remember one thing after you click on verification you have one step to do which is probably the most important you have to add mail extension records of Google to your domain name server and to do that go to Google and search for uh, configuring your MX records and locate this priorities and mail servers update this 
and uh, you know uh, Google will get connected with your domain after you are done with verification and updation of your mail exchange record your domain will be added in admin console and domain tab now I will show you how to use this domain to create alias okay for example when you join .com has been added now I will log out with my Google app account now this is uh, now I'm the user of hosef.in which is the major domain now I will uh, show you how to use another domain in order to do that you have to follow a few steps the first step is that after logging in go to the settings tab we'll wait for some while till this loads okay okay so after signing in in your gmail go to settings and this will you will find many tabs for example labels inbox accounts filters and many functionalities in this go in accounts tab as you are managing your accounts now here you can find that add another email address send mail as my uh, basic is use hosef mail to send from from your other email addresses my basic is uh, set as hosef now i want to create an alias click on add another email address on your own here for example in the name i will select as mudassir ali and domain i will take as when you joined as i have already added that and email address i will keep as dasir.ali at when you joined dot com now the next step here as you can see that mudassir ali at when you joined mudassir.ali at when you joined dot com has been added now you can make this either this as default or make this as default you can edit information and even you can delete it now i'll uh, compose a mail email and show you how it appears now clicking on compose to for example if i select any person from i have to select from which email id i have to send i can select either the first one or the new domain which i have created that is when you join dot com now I can select this and send now uh, the advantage of creating this is if a person sends on the first domain address for example my id is mudassir.ali at postsef.com and the alias is mudassir.ali at venuejoin.com if a person sends on either of the email id I will get mails my emails here now one point here we should keep note that uh, if we want to create new user in the alias domain it is not allowed by google first we have to create in main domain and then uh, that user will be directly linked for the alias domain now uh, we have created new uh, alias that is venuejoin.com now let us test whether that works or not so we are sending mail to my personal email id and the sender we are selecting as the mudassir.ali at venuejoin.com which is nothing but the alias domain name which we created now let me fill these details and send it to my personal id and we'll check uh, with my personal id that whether the email has been sent by the domain uh, alias domain name or not here uh, we'll check in our inbox as you can see i have received a mail and the sender is mudassir.ali at venuejoin.com which is nothing but the alias domain name so the alias domain name uh, is the sender which means the test is working okay we perform the second test that is let us send to uh, an email to alias domain name and check whether uh, we can receive with the main document or not so here i will so add the receiver as the sir.ali at venuejoin.com which is the alias domain name Now I'll send the mail to alias domain name and check whether that is received by main domain or not. First, let me log out and show you whether we can uh, check it or not with the main document. So here I will sign in with mutasid.le at hostsef.in which is my main domain. I will select it and log in. So here I am logging in with mutasid.le at hostsef.in. 
and you can see in the inbox that I have received mail and the receiver was actually mudassir.ali at venuejoin.com it was sent to mudassir.ali at venuejoin.com but I can access with mudassir.ali at hostchef.in which is my main domain and this is my alias domain so that means uh, we have connected successfully so thank you for watching our video if you have any doubts please free feel free to contact and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you